In today's world, it's pretty hard to bring out a fan. With hundreds of new fans joining that battle every few months, it's, it's kinda hard to even start to get noticed. But today, we will notice. Notice Gelitz, or, or Gelitz, I, I'm on, I will say Gelitz. Notice Gelitz Stellar ARGB, a fan that promises to jumpstart your PC RGB adventure without making you sacrifice your first bond to pay it. So this is Gelitz. Yes, Gelitz Stella. Um, Gelitz is a Hong Kong based company that, although I have heard the name before, uh, I have never actually owned or tested anything from them. And yeah, well, today is the day. This is their Stella ARGB fan. While being controllable over PVM, this little 120mm ARGB unicorn can spin at up to 1600 RPM while pushing around 70 CFM at 1.3mm of H2O. The RGB inside of this thing is being produced by 8 LEDs in the inner circle and 16 in the outer ones. And yes, you, you can kind of see them. To control them, we have a 3-pin ARGB connection which can be spun split it to the next fan by using the daisy chain plug located right next to the other one. On a side note, both the PVM and IRGB connections use a 500mm long cable, which is kind of refreshing because normally they are a lot shorter. Now, before we proceed on the fan, a few things that I would like to mention. First of all, this is clearly a case fan. With its 1.3mm of H2O, it is not an obvious choice for a heatsink or any sort of radiator. The RGB effects work fine, everything looks quite nice and beautiful. Just keep in mind that you will be able to see the individual LEDs, though it is nice that there is another RGB ring on the backside, that, that way you will be able to see some RGB no matter from what angle. Now, I, I can live with it, but something that definitely needs some improvement is the dual ball bearing they, they use on here. Not only are you kind of able to, to hear the dual ball bearing when you, you turn the fan with your finger, but I kind of get the feeling that the fan stops spinning due to its own friction like it's 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 just it happens too quick like every other fan that i own spins like a bit longer but but let's maybe use a real test to see for that while letting the stella spin at its max 1600 rpm it managed to keep the 3700x at 58 degrees c exactly one degree in front of asia horses 9002 pro competition now although they are clearly not rocking those benchmark charts they do perform okay for their intended purpose. Being absolutely budget-oriented fans, they did manage to outperform Asia Horses fans and they also managed to completely knock out Intertex RS04. But the, the most important part is still noise to performance. Here we were able to observe that the Stella performed okay-ish. Even if the Stella managed to outperform Asia Horses 9002, by a single degree, as soon as the target temperature was raised for that degree, the 9002 completely dominated until the very end. Funnily enough, uh, they did manage to beat the Arctic P12 and Nokia NFF12 for quite some time until their efficiency started to kick in and, you know, beat ass. So where does all of this leave us? Quality-wise, those Stella fans are, let's say, meh. Sure, the plastic is fine and everything feels like you could very well throw it against the wall once or twice, but it isn't the best by any stretch of the imagination. The thing that kind of puts me off is how the bearing sounds and, and, and feels. It's, it's also kind of the first time that I noticed it to such a degree where I thought I needed to put it into a video. On the performance side, it's, it's kind of a complicated topic because it is directly connected to the price. Right now I can get one of these Stellas for around 11 bucks as a single piece or for about 8 if I get them in a uh, 5 piece combo pack which also includes one of Gelid's Amber 5 ARGB controllers. So the issue here is, sure the fan doesn't perform out of this world but at the same time, I do not even have a single ARGB fan that comes in at 8 euros price tag. The closest thing would be Asia Horses 9002, which sets you back about 10 bucks. With that in mind, it kind of creates a weird spot here. Sure, there are many fans out there which are clearly better than, than one of the Stella fans, but at the same time, if your minimum threshold is having ARGB, there is not a single fan that can beat the price to performance ratio. So yes, although it is not the best, 
If you are on a really tight budget and you really want ARGB, it will be okay. But if you got 3 euros more per fan, you might want to consider stepping it up, you know, quite a bit. But okay, this should then be it for Gelid and their stellar fans. At this point, a big thank you to Gelid for sending them over, but if you want to keep watching, have a look at our take on the Noxua Redux line, where we had a look at Noxia's NFP12 fan. Also a pretty interesting option. On a side note, we also have a Discord server now, so join and let's find out how far all of us are willing to go to get RGB. And consider subscribing because Gilead also sent over their Glacier RGB CPU dual tower massive cooler. And although uh, I said in this video that these are case fans and not to be used on a radiator, who knows, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they will perform very, very well. Yeah, hint, uh, they do. <laughs> okay, uh, so hopefully see you on the next one. Bye-bye.